John Penrose. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Minister has rightly pointed out the unprecedented and extremely difficult position which many security, UK security operatives were in at the time. But the fact remains that some terrible things were clearly done. The, interna- the, uh, the ISC's report says that the UK uh, tolerated actions and took others which we regard as inexcusable. Mr Speaker, this was an ugly, ugly moment in our country's history. And can I therefore reassure the Minister that I think he's probably getting the message from right the way across the House that when he's taken his 60 days and he decides to come back to his House and respond on behalf of the Government, that there will be a huge cheer should he um, stand up and say that he is going to introduce the independent judge-led inquiry, which my right hon. Friend, the former um, Secretary of State for Justice, promised at the time, and that if he doesn't, it will not put this matter to rest until it does happen. Yeah, I, I hope that um, time can um, prove that uh, my honourable friend is not right in saying that this would be the only way to put matters to rest. I think that the inquiry itself over these years has been very thorough, uh, admirable, and indeed a, a good example, I think, of democracy working well, uh, where this House and ministers are held to account by uh, an independent uh, committee, indeed a specially constituted one. I think it's absolutely true to say that it did take time for us to realise quite what was going on and for many of our uh, agency uh, people on the ground uh, to realise that um, things to which they were not used, which they had not uh, encountered before, were happening in the hands of others. Uh, But I think that has largely now been addressed. Uh, but we will never uh, rest totally satisfied and will always examine ourselves to see if we can do better. Mr. Alistair Kerr, my 